Hello and welcome to The Day Ahead. It is Monday, July the 4th. I'm Andrew Gagan. Let's uh, check the markets and globally. Equities finished the week in the green. Wall Street rallied on the first day of July with all three major indices reversing early losses to finish in positive territory ahead of the Independence Day, a long weekend. Stock specifically, shares of Boeing, McDonald's and Coke posted strong gains, which boosted the Dow. And the microchip sector that fell sharply following a warning from Micron Technology that demand will weaken, triggering concerns of an industry downturn. Micron is expecting a drop in revenue for the current quarter, saying the past two years of strong demand and supply shortages are over. Further fueling concerns, DigiTimes reporting that major customers of leading contra-chip maker TSMC are cutting orders amid fears of a recession. Well, global manufacturing slowed in June in the face of stubbornly high inflation and weaker consumer spending with activity at factories falling to levels last seen during the initial wave of the pandemic. In the US, the slowdown was accompanied by declines in new orders and employment. The ISM manufacturing index dropping to 53 last month, the lowest reading since June 2020, while its measure of new orders contracted for the first time in two years. Construction spending fell by 0.1% in May. Manufacturing was also slowing in the Eurozone with the Purchasing Managers Index falling to 52.1 in June, its lowest level since August 2020. And the prospect of weaker economic growth saw US Treasury yields fall again on Friday, the 10-year note down to 2.89% and the two-year falling to 2.84%. Major currencies were mixed against the US dollar, the Aussie sitting at 68.3 US cents. Well, the Australian share market is set for a strong opening today with ASX futures currently up close to 1.5%. Global oil prices jumped on Friday as production disruptions in Libya and Norway put pressure on supply despite signs of slowing global growth. Brent crude rising close to 2.5% to $111 US a barrel. The iron ore futures price tumbling at the end of the week to $115 a tonne as steel making in China remains light. Base metal prices were mixed, with nickel, zinc and copper all falling. And spot gold was weaker, having lost more than 1.5% over the week. And having fallen for most part of the week, Bitcoin has stabilised above 19,000. Well, the first full week of the month will be a busy one with plenty of data and central bank events for investors to navigate. Locally, building approvals, ANZ job ads and leading indicators will be released this morning. The main event arrives on Tuesday, with the RBA widely expected to lift the cash rate by another 50 basis points to 1.35% at its July meeting. Tuesday will also bring detailed retail sales figures for May, and on Thursday we'll receive monthly trade data along with weekly payrolls and wages data. And internationally, the Headliner Act arrives at the end of the week with US non-farm payrolls data for June. Initial estimates look for an increase in the payroll number of 275,000. Before that event, investors will get the Cation Services PMI in China on Tuesday, along with US factory orders. Wednesday brings US JOLTS job openings, ISM non-manufacturing PMIs, and the minutes of the Fed's June meeting before international trade and ADP National Employment Survey for Thursday. There'll also be plenty of interest on US consumer credit data for May after a significant acceleration in new borrowing a month earlier. And that is your day ahead. We'll see you again tomorrow.